Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a phone pouch or a phone cover. And for this pattern, I've used my 100% cotton yarn and I've used my 3.5 mm of the hook. And this pouch is, it opens up like this. And this one is about seven and a half inch tall, seven and a half, and it is about three and three more than three, three and a half inches um, wide, near to three and a half inch wide. Now I've checked this pouch uh, with my phone and uh, it fits on my phone so if you're using any latest phone uh, which is bigger enough don't worry this pouch will fit on your latest phones so uh, this is a perfect size so don't worry about the size this is the perfect size and you can go on if you want to make it in a smaller size i would recommend you to please uh, check your pouch with your phone so for an example if you're having a smaller phone or a mini phone uh, just check out your uh, length and go ahead with the length uh, cut down wherever you want to uh, cut down your uh, stitches and here i have made about 14 rows and then i've made my this 15 and 16 rows so if you are doing uh, your pouch in a smaller size just cut down your uh, rounds and then continue with this 15 and 16 round so let's begin okay so for this one let's have a slip knot and now we're gonna chain up 15 one five so for that it's one two three thirteen fourteen and fifteen so we have our 15 chains here and now i'm gonna turn my work and at the back you can find the back portion of your chain so now this back bump is the uh back portion of your chain now i'm gonna skip my this first chain so this is the back portion of my first chain i'm gonna skip this and i will work into my this second chain now for that i'm gonna yarn over and will insert my hook into my this second chain the back portion of my second chain and will grab the yarn and i'm gonna have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loop and that's your first half double crochet now here you can put your stitch marker enough yarn over for one more time and insert your hook into that same stitch for one more time and grab your yarn and you're gonna have another half double crochet into that same stitch so you've got two half double crochets into that same chain space and now onwards we're gonna have one half double crochet into each chain so keep on doing one half double crochet into each chain so for the next chain I'm gonna have my one half double crochet for the next chain i'm gonna have one half double crochet now keep on doing your one half double crochet into each chain and by the end you're gonna have your 15 half double crochets and i'm gonna meet you at here here it is i have my 15 half double crochets and now here as we have done our one half double crochet here we're gonna add another three half double crochets into that same chain into that one chain so for that one as we have our 15 half double crochets here i'm gonna add another three so i'm gonna have my 18 half double crochets into that same chain add another three into that chain so it's yarn over and insert your hook into that same chain and that's 16 17 and 18 so you have four half double crochets into that last chain now I'm going to turn my work and I will go to my this chain, this next side of my this chains. And now I'm going to start working on this side of my this chains. Now for that one, yarn over and insert your hook into this your first chain. And make your one half double crochet here. Into the next one. Do your 
one half double crochet and keep on doing one half double crochet into each chain on this side as well until here and you're gonna have your 30 half double crochets until here and I'm gonna meet you on after my 30th half double crochet so keep on doing one half double crochet into each chain on this side as well and I'm gonna meet you here and here it is I have my 30 half double crochets in total around on this chains now here I'm gonna have another two half double crochets into my this last stitch so for that one yarn over and insert your hook into this last stitch and have your another two half double crochet so that's gonna be my 31st and my 32nd half double crochet so in total you have 32 half double crochets for this round round number one and now I'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and will insert my hook into my this stitch but I will take the back loop only so insert your hook into your this back loop only do not go to both the loops do not go like this just take your back loop only and grab your yarn and make a slip stitch here like this and now yarn over and insert your hook into that same space for one more time and grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops and that's your first half double crochet of your round number two and put your stitch marker back on so that you will remember that this is your first half double crochet and now keep on doing one half double crochet into each stitch for this round round number two and all stitches will be your back loop only so yarn over and insert your hook into your this next stitch grab your yarn Take the back loop only and do your one half double crochet into the third one. Yarn over and insert your hook into the back loop only and grab your yarn and make your one half double crochet back loop only. So keep on doing one half double crochet into each stitch back loop only and I'm going to meet you after that. And here it is. I have my 32 stitches for my this round, round number two, all back loop only and turn your work like this. So that's going to be in this way. And now I'm here. I've worked my this last stitch, my 32nd uh, half double crochet, back loop only. I'm going to take out my this stitch marker. And I will insert my hook into my this first stitch. Now take both the loops this time. So take both the loops and make a slip stitch here like this. And now we don't going to need this stitch marker. So I'm just going to put the stitch marker side and now here i'm gonna chain up two for my round number three so it's one and two now yarn over and insert your hook into this same uh stitch where you have made your slip stitch into your first stitch and grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only now again yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch for one more time yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only and you're gonna have three loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops and that's the cluster of three double cro crochets now this chain two we're gonna count as our first double crochet and this another two uh, double crochets halfway down and we have made our this cluster of our this three double crochets now we're gonna chain up two it's one and two now yarn over insert your hook into that seam stitch for one more time grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only now yarn over for one more time insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn and make your another double crochet halfway done that's two now for the third time yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops now you're gonna have four loops now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops and this is your pattern now for the next pattern we're gonna skip the next three stitches so that's one two and three we're gonna skip this three stitches and we're gonna work on over this fourth stitch so it's one two three skip this three and go to your fourth stitch now yarn over we are not do gonna do any uh, chain one or chain two here 
directly yarn over and insert your hook into this fourth stitch and grab your yarn and make three double crochets halfway done so for that one yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops for one time and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops second time and for the third time and now you're gonna have four loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops now chain two now again we're gonna repeat this pattern so another time we're gonna have cluster of three double crochets so yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn do it for one time for second time and for the third time now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops and that's your second pattern and now we're gonna repeat our pattern so for that one again skip the next three stitches so it's one two and three we're gonna skip this three stitches yarn over and insert your hook into your fourth stitch so it's one two three and this is the fourth stitch and we're gonna have a cluster of three double crochets so for that one yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over for one more time and insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and you're going to have three loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops chain two yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and insert your hook into your, your that same stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and now you're gonna have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops now keep on repeating this pattern and you're gonna make about eight patterns of this um, cluster of um, three double crochets and three double crochets this cluster of this two three double crochets you're gonna make this pattern for eight times so again yarn over and skip the next three stitches it's one two and three and i'm going to insert my hook into my this fourth stitch grab your yarn and make a cluster of three double crochets now i'm going to have four loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops chain two and make another cluster of three double crochets so it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops now keep on repeating this pattern and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is i've repeated my pattern for about eight times so it's it's one two three four five six seven and eight so i've repeated my pattern for eight times and now I'm gonna skip my this last three stitches so it's one two and three and this stitch has already been taken because this stitch we have already worked on now here we will go to this stitch skip your first two chains it's one and two i'm gonna skip my this first chain and the second chain i'm not gonna insert my hook into my this second chain i will go to this stitch and i will insert my hook into this stitch and will grab the yarn and will make a slip stitch here and now go to this next chain two space insert your hook and grab your yarn and make a slip stitch so we're gonna make two slip stitches here I've made my slip stitch on this my first stitch and then into this chain two space now for our round number four here I'm gonna chain up two one and two now this chain two will count as my first double crochet as we are doing this uh, double crochet halfway done we are making this chain two now again yarn over and insert your hook into this chain two space grab your yarn and make your first double crochet half fit on and your second double crochet half fit on and that's your three double crochets together here you're gonna have three loops now yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops now chain two yarn over and insert your hook again into that chain two space and make three double crochets half fit on we are going to repeat our pattern here like this and now you're going to have four loops yarn over and pull your yarn through four loops now here we're going to skip this cluster 
and the next cluster so we're going to skip this two clusters and we directly go to this chain two space now yarn over and insert your hook into that chain two space and make another three double crochets halfway down so it's one two and three now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops chain two and insert your hook again into that same chain two space and make a cluster of three double crochets so it's one two and three I'm gonna have four loops now yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops again we're gonna skip this two clusters and we'll go to this chain two space make one cluster it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all four loops chain two and make another cluster so it's one two and three and now keep on repeating this pattern and again on this round round number four you're gonna have eight patterns so keep on repeating your pattern and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is i've made my this pattern for about eight times so it's one two three four five six seven and eight sorry and eight and now here we will again go to this our third stitch third chain so it's one two and three remember this chain two is our first double crochet what we have done here and this is our stitch so i'm going to insert my hook into my this stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here and now again for our round number five i will go to this chain two space and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my slip stitch here one slip stitch and now i'm going to repeat my this round number four for my round number five and we're going to repeat our this round number four until round number 14 so repeat your round number four until your round number 14 and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is after my round number 14 my work looks like this and now for our round number 15 here i'm gonna go to this um chain two space and i'm gonna insert my hook into there grab the yarn and we'll make one slip stitch here and now i'm gonna chain one and yarn over and we'll insert my hook into this chain two space grab your yarn and you're gonna have three loops and make your one half double crochet now put your stitch marker here back on now again into this same chain two space i'm gonna have another half double crochet so for that one yarn over and grab your yarn and pull your yarn through all three loops and that's a second half double crochet now we will go to this cluster the next cluster and we're, we're gonna make our one half double crochet into this stitch so for that one so yarn over set your hook into that stitch grab your yarn and make your one half double crochet again we're gonna go to this next cluster yarn over and insert your hook into that space this stitch and make your one half double crochet again as we are here we have already worked on this stitch we are here on this chain two space we're going to make another two half double crochet into this chain two space it's one and two again on this cluster we're going to have one half double crochet and on this next cluster we're going to have one half double crochet again we are here on this chain two space and we're going to have two half double crochets here it's one and two now keep on repeating this pattern keep on doing this pattern and by the end of this round round number 15 you're gonna have 32 half double crochets and i'm gonna meet you here and here it is i have my 32 half double crochets for my this round round number 15 and now i'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my slip stitch here and now for the round number 16 make your one slip stitch and then chain one if you want you can put your stitch marker so that you will remember that this is your first stitch round number 16 is going to be our last round and 
as we have made our one slip stitch and chain one we will go to this next stitch grab your yarn and make a slip stitch and chain one again into the third stitch make your one slip stitch and chain one and into your next stitch make one slip stitch and chain one now keep on doing this uh, pattern one slip stitch and one chain one into each um, stitch and you're gonna have your 32 stitches 32 uh, slip stitches and 32 chain one and you're gonna you know, build up the pattern like this so this is your pattern and I'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is I have my 32 stitches and I'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and will insert my hook into my this first stitch sorry that's my chain one so i'm going to insert my hook into my this slip stitch not into chain one we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here and that's it and now i'm going to cut my yarn so insert your hook into your this um slip stitch not in chain one because chain one is your pattern and i'm going to cut my yarn we'll secure my this stitch and I will put my this loose end in and here it is the pouch looks like this and now for this for this strap I'm gonna change the color of my yarn so I'm gonna take the white color and I will simply make just have a little longer tail in here and make your slip knot just a little longer and now chain up 50 five zero so it's one two three four five six forty eight forty nine and fifty so that's your 50 chains and now i'm gonna cut my yarn so here again cut a little longer tail and secure your last stitch And now have your needle and just go in the middle so here it is we have our this one two and three patterns like this so I will go in here this is my third pattern so I will go in here somewhere and I will just do this one cluster in and one cluster out so this is our half double crochet stitches and this is our cluster our pattern stitch and i'm i'm putting my this uh chain into this in between these two rows in between my row number five, 14 and 15. so one cluster in one cluster out and simply put your chains in like this That's it. I'm just gonna even out my this. Tails and that's it. And that's it. Your pouch is ready. So you can now tie up your pouch like this. And if you want, you can put a knot this way. like this and like this or if you want to put a bow here you can put a bow here as well so for that one here it is and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye